Hey everyone, talking about Koros by Yves Saint Laurent, the original one from many decades ago. The notes in this are aldehydes, coriander, clary sage, artemisia, bergamot, patchouli, carnation, vetiver, cinnamon, geranium, jasmine, orris root, civet, honey, leather, musk, oak moss, amber, tonka bean, and vanilla. The way that I heard and often hear people talk about this, I was expecting to be in for like the most pungent animalic scent of my life, like but far from it, to my nose at least. To me, this smells like a lot of other vintage fragrance scent profiles, and I could see it coming across as dated, not that that means someone shouldn't wear it if they like it, but just as a kind of reference point. And I could sort of get where people could say, oh, it smells, some people are like, you know, it smells like a bathroom cleaner type of thing. I could see that, but I don't find it shocking or offensive at all. Granted, to be fair, I'm sure that if I had smelled this before trying as many fragrances as I have now, I would feel completely different about it. I would probably feel the same way about like, oh my God, that's yuck, what is that or something? But at this point, it's just like, okay, yeah, nice vintage scent. Like it doesn't, it's not shocking at all. And there are still scents that manage to repulse me, actually not infrequently, so I don't know. But yeah, I'm literally only smelling this for the first time after already having tried thousands of other fragrances. So it's interesting to experience something that's considered such a classic while having not tried it for so long. And I, yeah, I think it actually smells kind of good. There's something intriguing about it. I like this smoky, almost like incense-like undertone mixed with the green notes, spice, and leather. I would say very masculine leaning, but at the same time, it, there is some reminiscence to like some old Chanel fragrances, like the ones that are marketed as feminine. But just because the style has kind of switched a lot over the years in terms of how things are done. But yeah, I actually like it. Um, I think it's a must try for any frag head, so to speak, like anybody who's super into fragrance, because I say that and I hadn't tried it for so long, because it's so popular. It was like such a touchstone. It was a big deal when it came out. So I think it's just the kind of thing that's good to know what it smells like for reference, not because you'll necessarily like it. And you can get a sample of this for only a few dollars. So I definitely recommend checking it out either way. And you actually might be surprised and like it if you like uh, kind of vintage scent profiles.